Students, have you ever wondered about the creation of the universe? Well, it is a question that crosses everyone's mind, but no one really knows the answer explicitly. There are certain theories about the formation of the universe that give us an idea about how it all started. Are you familiar with the scientific theories about the formation of the universe? Well, scientists believe that the universe came into existence with a massive explosion called the Big Bang. Now tell me, have you ever wondered when the world would end? Would it even end? If so, then how? Well, the following poem is about the possibilities of how the world would end. Let's see what the poet thinks about the end of the world in the poem Fire and Ice. The poet opines that there are two possible scenarios in which the world could end. It is either by ice or by fire. The poem has only two stanzas describing the two possible scenarios. The poet personally thinks that the destruction of the world would be through fire. Now can you guess what does it mean? Will the earth catch on fire? Will it be engulfed by the sun or be destroyed by humans themselves in a war where nuclear armaments are used? The poem is highly metaphorical where the poet has used fire as a symbol of passion and desire. He believes that human beings will destroy each other in the pursuit of fulfilling their desires. Can you guess how human desires can be the cause of destruction? Well, what do you think is the root cause of wars? Aren't they the result of some world leader's desire to become superpowers and rule the world? The poet believes that humans will destroy each other to satisfy their passion, anger, violence, greed and bloodlust. Let us look at some other possible causes for the destruction of our world. In the second stanza, the poet describes that if the world gets destroyed for the second time, it will be through eyes. Now, what do you think he meant by eyes? Do you think the sun will get extinguished one day and the earth will freeze over? As we have seen before, the poem is metaphorical. The poet has used eyes as a symbol of hatred. He believes that human beings will destroy the world with hatred towards one another. Now you must be wondering, how can hate destroy the entire world? Well, have you heard of Adolf Hitler? He was the man responsible for mass murdering millions of people. Can you guess what made him take such an atrocious action? Yes, students, he was driven by hate towards the Semitic race. He believed in the superiority of the Aryan race. But do you think it is justified to hurt someone based on their race or religion? Absolutely not. In fact, no one should hurt anyone at all. The poem ends with the poet admitting that hatred is also equally capable of destroying the world. According to him, both fire and ice are spreading at such a rapid pace that the world would soon perish anyway, either due to the desire for power or due to the hatred towards others. It just means that the end of the world is inevitable. Now, do you think that the poet's opinions are factual and justified? Well, both desire and hatred are powerful enough to destroy a person, society, countries and the world at large. Look at the modern world. People are driven by the desire to grab power and wealth. Powerful nations want to control other weaker countries. Political parties are resorting to all kinds of dirty things to satisfy their lust for power. While on the other hand, hatred and indifference is growing at an alarming rate. People are becoming intolerant of each other, other religions and even other culture. We have become so apathetic that even the suffering of the underprivileged doesn't bother us anymore. Therefore, it can be justifiably said that the poem is very relevant in today's world scenario.